Uh, the final race of week one, that is the Doug Warren Maiden, and the top one in this seven furlong two yard race is boosted for Graham Clutterbuck. Break it to them gently, Martin Leadham, Call and Murph Hems, Lost Faith, Daniel French, Witty Rest for Derek Hinton, Black Rider, Joshua Sutherland, Cherry Lane, Mike Westwood, Cucumber Cool, Django, Esmeralda, David Robertson, Fantara, Nick Driver, Interaction, James Shea, Jenez Del Marcasado for Darren Thompson, Lioness, Paul Rhodes, Nabar, John Seaford, Roberta, Paul O'Neill, Run for the Roses, Dan Hughes, Suze Modder for Alex Cherry, Taja Wars, Shadwell, Tina Inch, John Morgan and Weir Eagles, Dear Leon Van Rensburg. So 20 runners then in the rain to end week one. And away they go, with Fantara one of the first out, and Black Rider and Esmeralda also pretty smartly out of the gate, but it looks like it's going to be Lost Faith that's going to take the early lead right over on that far side with Nabar on his inside and just behind Tina Inch, and the one closest to us is Esmeralda, but Lost Faith has put in some pace to this race and is already a couple of lengths clear and already at the five furlong pole, so Lost Faith is in the lead from Nabar and Jerez del Marcasado, they're all right over on the far side, and... I don't know, Jerry Del Masado is over this side, it's Tina Inch is over that side. And Esmeralda is next, then Roberta and Cucumber Core looking towards the back. Cherry Lane is probably the back marker, but it's Lost Faith that's in front. Lost Faith is still two lengths clear from Nabar and then Jerez de Marcasado. And Esmeralda Cucumber Cool is trying to get into it as well. But look at this Esmeralda up the centre of the trap, but coming through now is Cucumber Caller is cool as a cucumber. Also trying to finish by Call and Murph. Tina Inch is still there as well. Now they've got two furlongs still to go. And Tina Inch is just in front from Lost Faith and Esmeralda. Where Eagles Dare is now bursting through as well. And wide open race from the Grey Lioness is now coming through. Closest to us as well. But it's Lost Faith. Tina Inch, Esmeralda, Lioness, Roberta's also trying to get into it. But it's Tina Inch who's about a neck in front of Lioness. Closest to us. Lioness now beginning to get up. Maybe Tina Inch's neck finishing like an absolute train as Dadger was. But it's going to be Tina Inch and Lioness. And as they race towards the line, and Tina Inch just takes it from Tadgerals, and then Harris to the Marcasado after that one. Run for the Roses finished really well. Another furlong for that one, and it'll do okay. And it was Tina Inch that hung on. Uh, John Morgan couldn't quite win his own race, but he's managed to win that one, I think. Tadger was was also pretty good. And it says Black Rider was fourth, and I'm not sure it was. It was Tina Inch that won it for John Morgan. Tadger was for Shadwell second. Harris de Marcasado for Darren Thompson was fourth. Third, sorry, Interaction for James Shea was fourth. The fifth horse was Lioness for Paul Rhodes. And that's it, 38 races for week one. Seems like we've never been away now, doesn't it? And we'll see you all next week to do it all again.